Hello everyone, this is Dr. Uh, Kasia Kainz, uh, expert on all EBV. I wanted to talk about autoimmunity and celiac and what they have to do with Epstein-Barr virus and especially celiac. So in 2018, there was a fascinating study by uh, uh, a name called uh, Harley, easy to remember. Um, and I also read his comments somewhere else that uh, doing research on Epstein-Barr virus was the most profound thing he did professionally. And so like, I, I'm so excited uh, that he recognizes that the importance of his work. Uh, so last year he did a study in which he showed that there is a particular protein, EBN, uh, EBNA2, um, that belongs to the virus. And it can go into, hi Magdalena, it can go into the, um, inside your cell DNA, it can get into the DNA area for autoimmunity and literally trigger seven types of autoimmune disorders, including Crohn's, ulcerative colitis, multiple sclerosis, lupus, um, juvenile rheumatoid arthritis, uh, multiple sclerosis, and celiac. So there were studies I saw before uh, when they showed association um, with the Epstein-Barr virus reactivation in groups of celiacs that were doing very well on gluten-free diet versus those that were not doing well. And they were seeing that the second group actually had a much, much higher uh, scientifically, statistically significant, uh, significantly higher um, percentage of positive antibodies for current reactivation of EBV. So what do we do with this information? So this is, you know, this is research, okay? And what do I see in my, uh, in my uh, clinic with my, my own clients? I have to tell you, I've been noticing that uh, some people express real concern and frustrated, frustration. Hi, Mary. Uh, that in the past they were fine with gluten. They had no problem. They were eating whatever. And now they have the virus and suddenly they just can't tolerate gluten and so on and so forth. And some of these people actually end up testing uh, for the genes for uh, celiac. They have the genes and so suddenly they're expressing this gene. You know, you may be born with a gene for celiac or gene or two, but it doesn't mean you will be expressing it. It may start expressing uh, due to circumstances, maybe over overeating or whatever that is. But I'm starting to notice that there's a small group where it sounds that Harvey's study actually, I'm looking at the, the practical manifestation of what he found in my population. So I'll, t I'll tell it again to clarify, perhaps you have predisposition to celiac because you have the gene, but at certain point, perhaps, hi Natalie, <laughs> um, but perhaps uh, Epstein-Barr virus actually has the ability to um, have your genes for celiac express themselves. And so suddenly you have full blown celiac and now you even have the, the damage in your intestinal lining. Um, I've had cases when people actually did biopsy of the gut and there it was. So anyway, I wanted to share that with you because I was sitting today thinking about it. And um, autoimmunity is a big, big issue for a lot of people and especially in the community with Epstein-Barr virus. So I thought this is apropos. Uh, you can literally go Google Harvey. Uh, it's just like the motorcycle, same spelling and uh, EBV and you'll come up with that. You'll see that study. And I think it's really uh, important. This is from 2018, so it's pretty new. Um, so it's not for debate. It's a debate. It's 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 a fact. This was this was shown. So uh, this opens a possibility for any person with the other conditions that I mentioned: the Crohn's, ulcerative colitis, uh, diabetes type one, uh, rheumat uh, juvenile rheumatoid arthritis, and lupus. You no, know, just you should look into Epstein-Barr virus if you have these conditions and you're not responding otherwise. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Hopefully that makes sense. 
And if you'd like to know more, uh, we actually will be doing a couple of live webinars all about Epstein-Barr virus. And so I'm going to put a link underneath so you can find it, register. It's completely free. And I can't wait to share what the, my clients taught me, what the research has taught me, and what I've learned about this virus. So let's spread the word, invite your friends. Let's get that information out. Have a great day. Bye, Casey. Bye, Natalie. Bye, Mary Magdalena. Have a great day.